Two of those three goes the way of Furia. So we know the old style can work and that it can defeat G2. The question is, which Furia do we get? Well, right now we get the Furia locking down B. Arts Beretta's drop behind him. Very good start to this one for the CT side, but they've got Monacy to deal with. And the Coffin Peak is coming in. What a tap <laughs> to drop. Is it just me? Did that look like Monacy simply just like brushed a bug off his shoulder? I know. You know, he's watching the CT cross. Um, in G2's direction. Not surprised to see these things. Art from the corner. Gets out of danger and drops a nade on them. That makes his job way easier. And he did his job yesterday in the questionable form coming out of safe. JKS only has an MP9 with no Kevlar. The CTs will come through the, the, the retake. That's what's meant to unfold. Nade, perfect. Deal with Monacy first, get his deagle out of it. Nico's dead, but it's just this MP9 in the corner. Remember, 10 seconds stick. They've got to charge him down as he sits on top of bomb and oh no my way. God, are you serious? Guys. No kit, no time. That's that's just embarrassing. You can't be serious. They, they set up in a retake in a situation where they leave all of lane open, all of halls open. And they pulled out through challengers and they did it convincingly that 0-2 start seemed so odd so against our expectations but man like hooksy with the double kill entry on the b site you can keep your m4 safe you can hang on to that scout but you've got to still grind back through these best of threes to have a chance to get in the playoffs and that's g2 not even qualifying for rio of course furia we're up there in semis they've got more to prove it's also a Furia that's coming off of a very recent event. For me, besides like Guardian in history that we've all expected to win it, right. is Nico. Ooh, Safe finds his. Flawless start so far for Safe, despite all the rounds to G2. A little bit of aggression coming out of a CT side. And Hooksy decides to crank the tempo on his own. Nico, critical kill to get that bomb into the pack. But Art has slipped beyond the crosshair. And Nico could get caught off by this or not. <laughs> he was just making sure no one would come help. Yeah. Waiting, waiting, isolating Art and getting exactly what he wanted. This was a three versus five out of G2 before they started to reclaim kills on A. And now they're just going to go ahead and close out what's left. Three versus five in a critical gun round after that blunder in round two already. Furio, because G2 are the number one team to not overthink car control on Banana, and they'll turn that into exact right away. They've already done that a couple of times this match. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He flashes himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Very good. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. It's crazy as well if all of a sudden Yuri and Keserato just seem mediocre in this style. But I mean, Yuri not even ready for them sprinting up middle. Not trying to mask that aggression, not trying to hide that sound. Yuri didn't even have his head turned. So 5v4, a lickety split. G2 deciding, well, if it's up to them, they'll kick up the tempo. Nico hones in on the pit player. Gotta be cautious as Art sits inside sight, but we also have Monacy wrapping around. And when the motto smoke goes down, Monacy is gonna get this. Tons of pressure on the pit player now, and they are just fixated in on him. Double nade put Keserato on sub-10 health before he even had a chance to shoot back. Dude. Could that A hit have gone any easier? I, yeah, I don't know, man. First things first, Fury needs a much more dominance on Banana to start these next rounds because their passive setups are not working out. Oh, Whoa. Oh, yee -oy. All right, Monacy. Nico dies to the bomb. Drop. It looks like he's going to save it. All is good. It's an AWP for safe at the very least. That pistol is doomed if it peaks this. Oh, <laughs> two bullets. 
out of Nico's AK and Art gets splattered on Banana. Fast move here. Okay, Serato's looking to come over, put up a defense with the Deagle. It's not going to be a problem for G2. They've disrespected this utility multiple times, but Drop's <laughs> actually managed to change places. They'll kill Caserato before Drop. I mean, oh, poor guy. Couldn't get through. Hunter just barrel stuffs him. And so that's G2 with eight rounds on this T side. This is so brutal. Do they live in the same... I don't know. Ecosystems? Maybe. Just picture it happening at a zoo. You know, what if we had zoos where we could just feed animals to each other? You know? Feed animals to each other. Yeah, like eight, like, like, you know, like R-rated zoos. Okay. He can think about how he, he could have won this major at certain points here. Good flash. Good aggression. Yes. Nice, Furia. A little life, a fight. That's at least all we need here. An element of entertainment with a 5v3 setup. The flashbang looked great. The op posting on the angle before Modesty can re-peak it. This is what Furia needed. Not just for the sake of the competitiveness of this game, but just for themselves. A clean, flawless round queued up. And it comes by way of perfectly timed banana re-aggression. Yeah. And Yuri can hear the rumblings of mid-play. Hooksy back turned. But the flash! Oh, it almost saves him. Hunter's dropped as he tries to give chase. JKS will catch Yuri, finishing off the damage that was done. Caserato towards lane, sees both T's, falls back, hands busy, and a teammate that's smoked off, but Hooksy still gets smashed by the off. And then Nico catches the flank down banana. This could serve as the trigger to go back, and we've already got Art tucked in the close corner. Nico can't let his guard down, sees it, and Art wins the fight. So he seizes it. The man advantage to Furia. And JKS jumping up over the railing. Looks like he got that unspotted. Somehow. Still looking for the duel here. Safe's gonna have to turn around fast oh. with the T in the open. Now he's all of a sudden forced away from his angle. Doesn't like that duel. Yeah, he's gotta let the bomb out. He can no longer peek into default because of where this rifle could be. So the Moto Smoke comes down. Very legit attempt on the 2v2. 2v3, honestly. Bomb gets thrown down. Monacy wants to play post plant from apps. There's that one question of the second CT. Spotted, missed, and now JKS forced into the clutch. And Safe knows that the pressure could come in his direction, so they'll give some time to set it up. Art getting ever closer to the doorway. Safe now re-aggressing through. The crosshairs placed. Instant headshot. JKS back down to the cover. Plays the time. Awaits the push. Art has to come at him. And with that nade, oh, it's close. A single shot will do the trick. And Art tries to close that gap up in sight. JKS around the pillar dances. Wow. And does he dance long enough? Art on top of the bomb. It comes down to the wire. But Furia take their third Ooh, in terms of movement man jks did everything so perfectly there and again well it's really simple what g2 are doing these days they don't there's not no one can really stop them once they take banana control oh, oh my goodness gracious Whew. i think safe was allowed to take that peak oh, it's been a tidal wave of t rounds here all different styles of b attacks basically from g2 that have worked out splendidly and speak to their very dominant T-side map statistics over the long run. Maximum potential of five rounds in this half. It's hanging on for dear life as G2 take 10. Hunter. Oh, okay. Nope. He hangs on. K Serato keeps the op up. K Serato to have his hands full. Hunter, clean kill. Yuri tucks into Balk. Ooh, this is the right position for him to try and come back and unravel this a site art's going to be concerned with balcony instead pit is already compromised of course yuri can deal with jks but hooksy's frag grenade finds the kill and then yuri instantly traded back so considering what they had to work with there i think yuri felt spotted mm -hmm. that's why he went slowly but he wasn't ends up playing his hand now nico's just been sat back the insurance policy of middle <laughs> oh <laughs> with the deagle <laughs> And the flash that comes over top, just stunning drop on a desperate 1v3 attempt to close this one out. G2 looking comfortable and then some here on Inferno, a dominant T side to kick off the series. Hunter sitting up inside of the apartments though has a good 
piece of map control alongside JKS. So we'll see the retake commence. Okay, Serato keeping Monacy out of the pistol. Bodes well here for Furia. Drop. It's a one and done. Hunter brings it back. But they've also killed Nico towards Banana. So it's Hooksy and Hunter to try and get into A before that third T comes through. Oh, they're letting him go. Hunter drops. And he's denied by Yuri, who's then just going to keep his head down. Hooksy uses the smoke to block off the pit. He's sectioning off these duels well enough. And then he actually goes back. Oh, he kills K Serato. He doesn't have a kit, but he taps the bomb, which means Yuri, you'd think, has to peek. And now hooksy has got him pinned. <laughs> Hooksy with a glorious attempt in the pistol clutch, but instead, it's Furious fit. Yeah, he did have him scared. That was a nice attempt. Doesn't happen back to back. Hooksy, I respect your ambition. Takes that 5-7, tries to duel down Banana. Ooh. Maybe it's just to set up Nico, though. Clean double Deagle. Approach. Hunter is going to no buy Molly, as no much made. time as possible. Just sat back, tucked and waiting. A smoke for the cross. That banana flank's coming real quick, and Furia cannot afford to drop the ball two halves in a row. Hunter extends, and Yuri, while blinded, will kill him. There's the banana peak. Another duel lost, but it's the kid prodigy of Monacy. With a Deagle inspired by Nico. Oh, he catches drop back turned. And now he's going to come at this from a different angle. Yuri's still leaning back, but keeping eyes on Coffin. He is stuck on that side of orange. Now time plays against Monacy. The peak comes out, and that crosshair so close, but Yuri's going to close it. Furia by the skin of their teeth. They had a really good read on the setup. In between all the fire, they get away all right. Oh, and Nico double senses it and takes safe down by 80 as well. There we go. Dropped the only one left on full health, looking for contact and a way to crack open A, but look at the numbers here for G2. That one rifle just kicks it all off. And Drop looks to bring it back. Hooksy's A1S gets stuffed by safe who now wants to take it over towards the balcony. Hunter gets the pistol close. Him and JKS looking to tether nicely. And the pressure's applied. The kill is found and another one up in the corner. Hunter waits, safe jumps through with bomb. And that just throws this down into the dirt. Yuri needs to recover. And Nico waits no time. Hunter connects with the CZ. Majority pistols, and yet still G2's 12. Damn, they keep getting close with all these rifles, and then, or sorry, with all these pistol rounds. The rifle round actually looks really good for Fury. And then as soon as it's a half by once again, here it is, Nico, star of the show, with the spray transfer in through the smoke. The good rotations over towards A. Safe sort of gives this up by jumping through, but you'd say, honestly, G2 won the rounds by picking A as the stack point. No! before the attack even came in. They had a lot of ways to win that round, but he's still just comfortable at all, all times trying to take as much information as he can. Mm. His shot, Hunter picks up the slack. Two backs turn to him, simple double, but yikes, stuck between all the fire, doesn't matter, Hooksy saves him. Things are starting to look sketchy for Hunter. Oof. Then all of a sudden, Yuri tries to pop out from the apartments, almost finding a chance to strike down one. And while we were sat here waiting for Nico versus Serato, uh, But for Furia, they just they don't have opportunities to miss on rounds like this. Like, they have to have very, very clean rifles at this point in the game. 13 to 8. It's almost very calm for this roster right now. Whoa. Yeah, that was also okay. massive. I saw the kill feed and I was like, how did he do that? How's that Yuri's, right? There's, there's a guy on graveyard stairs and that somehow... Okay, Serato takes a perch. Hooksy's going to try to get those spams going. Remember, Nico got a double similarly in the past. And Hooksy's just going to fly right through up oh. and over K Serato. Dude, get out played. Yeah, they're just ex exterminating. Get smoked. AWP of Monacy is going to peek back. Second shot is quick, and the tethering from Hunter is perfection. This is G2, mere moments from a 16-8 close. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hooksy jumped. Ooh, something different. Yeah, but the fast move here from the CT rotation gets into an interesting spot for Nico. He could get a ton out of this. I oh, love this. They're coming right at him. Quick little snap. No double kill, but still enough to stun Furia in the CT spawn. Yuri's working with... 
subpar HP. Monacy is going to get it. Nice quick scope. But I think now he knows since he just walked Arch, didn't see anybody. They're not continuing forward with the split. However, there's someone inside of Halls. There's no attention being drawn, though. Art needs to make something happen. And he'll start to shoot. So this will drag Monacy back. Eyes now on Hooksy. Yeah. Hooksy peeks it to Banana. Confirms that one's moving up. Saw the bomb with it. AWP out of Monacy is very quickly coming to help him out. And then there's a flank on flank in middle. So as soon as that underground player pops up, it's mm. done. G2 win their 15th. Seven map points to close out Inferno. Zero panic. All success. Nico decides he's going for it. In <laughs> case Serato's MAC-10 kills him. Hunter's got the trade frag though. Blood meets blood. At a smoke in front of drop. He's the third. Hunter has gone above and beyond. A total 180 from the best of ones to this first of best of three. And one of them versus Vitality. A 3-0 legend stage team now that we see them finish off that run today. So really, it's just the recovery from the B&E loss because barring that, this team on screen is not losing maps. And they begin with a dominant performance versus Furia here on Inferno. Of course, Mirage up next. No longer best of ones, but full-blown best of threes. We got T round wins out of Furia, and it's still not nearly enough. And give this a real try, and they'll start right here on T side. This isn't a map that G2 play anymore, but of course, in history, I've played plenty. Hunter, nothing. Art, double kill. When they struggled to kick it all off on that ancient game yesterday, well, Art did have an uptick on individual level. Let's see what he can do here. Charging through to connector, Art picks up a third. Just a one-man army for G2 to now have to come back. It's a 2v5 retake. They find the first one for free while the smokes were still up. That wall of cover letting them section it off, but Nico gets gushed, poor guy. And the Glock finds its target. There we go, Furia. Another T round on the pistol. First map, they win pistol, lose second. Second half, win pistol, almost drop it a second time. And things were going well. Steady shot there from Monacy. Could still go south as Hooksy presses his Desert Eagle into the smoke. It's the double T set up on the other side. Third one's coming over. And then you've got Hunter down beneath mm. with the CZ and a flash as well. If he wants to help out Hooksy, we'll see what happens. But Monacy's also starting to throw himself into it. The CTs are in the right position and time is not on Furious side. Hunter able to get the blind side. Monacy with the scout shot. They kill Hooksy point blank. We've got eight seconds. More dings come out. The scout takes its target and they have fumbled it again. Oh, not like this, man. Not like this. There's one moment here. Just one thing I could change about this round. It's Yuri. He doesn't transition from connector after his teammate dies on Cat to try to get into the window or to try to hear Monacy on the rotating, on the rotating into B. And... Uh, that's just, it's, 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 it's just really tough to watch. It's really tough to watch this happen. Some great shots coming in. G2 will be super excited. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Had a stubborn long journey. Yeah, sure. The style and never changing. And now was finally when, when, you know, they decide to bite that bullet. But hold up. Okay. Dropping Case Serato. 4v2, but oh, Nico, my God, he could back's win. turned. He's lost track of the ramp player. Still, he holds off. Oh, it's clean. He turns back to Serato, who just got himself into the coverage. We've got two back towards Ticket. Hunter getting closer. And these T's with jiggles around all these pieces of cover. There it is. Art takes the head off. Oh, man, they were sketched out. Nico just reveals himself from top Tetris. It gets scary for a second. Who's been living in my house this whole time? <laughs> yeah, he's been up in the attic. It's kind of funny because, like, you know, Mirage is a, a map, you think. it's It was synonymous for G2 for funnier reasons than than not, honestly, for a while because it was like G2. Oh, they're playing. Mir they picked Mirage in a grand oh, 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 final. That's, that's, Guess it's 0-3, you know? Um, but since then, so right here, Furious start off with the window smoke. He gets countered by the Molly and Infro for the CT, so they don't overextend on the ramp. Oh, Flash isn't good. Goes right by Monacy. Comes back in for the frag. Poor drop gets sacrificed with no trade back. The mid smoke draws him back. Art speed up. Oh, he does. Nicely done, but still a player now beneath him. Yeah, favoring the CTs just slightly. A ramp control as well with the bomb in front of it. Nico will turn to the other side of Connector. 
duplicating his presence and finding another kill. Nicely done. Dominating connector. Nico and connector. We talk about his 10-year career. Well, that's been his bread and butter, but man advantage is JKS can just slink back into the cover of Underbalk. Teammate with him and Hooksy not far away. So the stairs player looking for contact won't find it. It's a drop into Sandwich. The picture being pieced together by the Aussie and the damage comes through. Such little amounts of health left on these tees. Hunter and Hooksy clean it up and that's G2's second CT round win. All right, this is fast. Safes. Straight down beneath mid window. Yuri, did he? Oh, what is that? I think it's just a spam into the window smoke. All right. Well, gets away with a 5v4. Critical one early. I don't know if Hunter one waited after the Molly. Maybe that's what happened. Could make sense, but the cat peak? Yeah, that's just a sitting victim. That's a huge angle to take because they so have deep. Yeah, because they have DB control. Then oh. the mid play. Well, that just instantly starts to slide back the favor of G2. Recovered from the 4v5 to the 4v2. And Art goes, see, this, guys, this is why we changed. <laughs> this is why we changed everything. But what can he recover with the AWP? He's going to get the back. Nope. Honestly. Oh! The vent. Oh, the vent. That's so unfortunate. He survives on one HP because of vent. Add it to the list of things to change on Source 2, I tell ya. Nico's going to find him. Bomb thrown down now. That could have been a kill, but it isn't. It's four up for G2. An opening frag means nothing. As G2 reclaim every portion of the map, op in apartments to catch the cat peak, the most minimal cat peak, but as we said, afforded by that deep apartment control. Yeah, we'd have to consider the fact that Monacy's shot looks easy because he's so deep, right? Oh, Hooksy on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Just catches Art completely unprepared. That boy cold. Give it a chance to fall back. Tagged up by Yuri. He will get away. <laughs> Couple... Glancing blows to the side. Serato, meanwhile, wastes no time perching up on the railing. And Nico is going to catch safe further back. And you can just see that Nico's wary of the possibility of Cat being compromised, of Serato being in ladder instead of where he is. But Serato's patience works off perfectly. He just allows Nico something that's happened for him a long time. Serato. Not quite able to catch Monacy just yet, but the bomb and the tees are getting ever closer, and so is G2's defense. We got four seconds on the clock, nothing left. They could sense they had an opening. Ooh, they could, could crawl, for crawling forward, but then it's just a trap. They're so scared to go for the commitment and the plant and the pace that... That one coming in from CT spawn. It's been a popular angle here at the Major. That it has. Top of the cap bricks from Hunter. Ops here to help. Also up front. Great. Flick backwards. Tethered perfectly. Yet again from Hunter. Multi-kill made easy by the headshots. Sitting on top of the bricks. Now Drop does have bomb. There's a clutch possibility. Half health versus three. Hunter's oh, not missing. Man. Just headshots after headshots from middle towards the B site. Nico feeling comfortable here towards middle. Yes, top mid belongs to the T behind box, but JKS is there to what? support it. Monacy just strikes from above. Lightning takes down drop. And in a heartbeat, I mean, literally quiet across the map. Things are moving slowly into everything going wrong at the same time. And that's G2 on fire. Hooks you with the final kill. Nine rounds here. Seven rounds away from knocking Furia out. Not looking like they're even going to stop on CT side right now. Oh, more ridiculous shots out of Monacy. Every single player in middle gets theirs. Nico to his left, JKS to his right. Two opponents ahead of him in just a moment. And that cat player coming to help Nico. They emerge through smoke. Ooh, drop with the deagle. That kicks this off well enough. And JKS with a quick reposition is going to continue to stuff Furia in this one. Yuri is trying his damnedest by besting the Rifler in jungle. That's the only silver lining, and it means nothing in the end. It's 10 for G2, an unstoppable CT side. Nico off the flash. Perfect! Two kills, helps out Hooksy with the next one, and we just see this time and time again. The meat grinder that meets Furia on all fronts. They tried to get electric. They tried to crank that dial, but their dial near done turned 
to a near mute. All of a sudden, Furia very much facing elimination. If they can't pick up a pistol, we're done here. And now they have reconvinced you that you should forget about yesterday. Without a pistol round here for Furia, this could very quickly turn into a Dia de defeat. And with a flash on Serato losing his teammate up into the apps, he better hope that Molly holds them back while the rotates come over. The problem for him is that already those rotates are being held by Hunter. He lets the first one go as Hooksy exits, then he activates, dropping, drop, and getting in towards market with another player unprepared. Hunter goes huge, oh and with Nico back behind him, it's four rounds to continuing their run in Paris. The double layer lurk there with the T-side entries on the hold while they're holding on to B apps, catching every rotator, reading every attack. G2 and FaZe had hard-fought battles of the four teams that go down into the 0-2 pool. Furia have been the least successful. Now or never. Now or never again. Last chance at a CSGO major. And JKS trades out Yuri to start to peel off this a site defense. More damage done to Furio won't make this one easy. And there's nobody actually within this bomb site to even offer any stoppage. Art falls back, fades away like the hopes of Furia. I mean, first kill from Yuri, but JKS, it's Galil trade. And just the damage that ends up coming through the smokes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hooksy finishes off safe. Art got taken down to half. A quick boost out of safe, doing anything to try and make this happen. Anything to get a trade frag, to get a hope, to get the dream going again. And Drop will do that. The double kill that could. Tucked back quietly in the corner. Nico uh, still hasn't been able to find him, but he he's going to get the, the angle. Game. Yeah, he will get the angle. Let's see if he has to get the adjustment. He does. The contact's made. Caserato puts up the kill. Yuri then finds the next one. Monesty's all that's left. Oh. Art will find it. Furia. There's five. Okay. And Good. it's a long road back. Yeah. G2 wait long enough that we do get Furious sliding in, but then Hunter catches Yuri. A little misstep, and the timing catching him in the middle of it all. Caserato doesn't feel comfortable here whatsoever. Safe's off, extends around, doesn't kill JKS. Caserato will get the job done. Gives himself a smoke to just play behind. He's low HP, and Monesty's alive, hungry. Arts Aug over the top, clears out the sandwich. Caserato's died in the meantime. Ooh, Monacy, you feel it? The first one's his, but Safe's got the angle. And so Furia have got another one to try and make this happen with yeah. step by step. Step by step. Preparing for the fight. Two to the right side and nothing. It's Hunter with the instant kill. Safe can't expose himself to the apartments and he misses his shot. But Art will pick one up from the other side of the map. Monacy trades that back instantly. A smoke to go down inside apartments, but everybody who's trying to come help safe is dying. And they know where he is, so Bomb can leave. A site is clear for the taking. And that is a golden opportunity for G2's 15th. They've got a man hunting down the opper, which means cleared out will be Furia. Money will be in question. And so is their future. Eight attempts to close this series from the superstars expected in the playoffs. Mm. There's something about the finality of this last CSGO major that just makes this different, you know? At Antwerp, there's another chance. At Rio, there's another chance. But this is the final chance here in CSGO, and there's something different about that. I think it struck everybody, for all of us who have been around for so long, where it was just like, what? It's gonna end? Like, that didn't, didn't seem real for a long time. The consistency of their playoff performances time and time again it's all in question. No guarantees, but at least another chance as Yuri catches the 5v4. Deagle out of Caserato goes down. The A site starting to crumble. Safe predicted. And taking damage from Ticket. Oh, his spray is not quite on the mark, but his teammates are here already. Art posted on this angle. Dueling versus JKS. He looks to make the difference. And now, these last two T's in Hunter and Monacy with upticks in their performance. Scour the contact that Fury are here to offer Hunter with the trade back. And Monacy looking for that last frag, the last frag to keep G2 in this run. But there is no over celebration. There is no victory in this moment yet for G2 because their goals are set so far in the future 
their hopes so much bigger than a simple best of three win in the 0-2 pool that as they go over to shake the heartbroken opponents